Hello, we're going to make a video. In this video, we'll provide a brief explanation of project directories for the ECE 363 Spring 2024 course. Okay, so um, what we want to do is uh, we want to do a change directory over to the project directories. And the path for the project directories are slash proj slash ECE 363 spring 2024 and these, these directories can be accessed from any of the machines on the ECE Teaching Lab Linux platform. Um, so, uh, so what we're going to do instead of and then under that you'll see that you have your own space in those project directories. What we're going to do first though is we're going to go to slash proj, so we'll do a change directory to slash proj, and we'll do an ls. And if you take a look, there's no ECE 363 Spring 2024 directory. The directories are auto-mounted, so they don't mount until they're going to be used. <coughs> now it's theoretically possible that another user could have been on here two minutes ago and used those directories and signed off and while they were on using those directories or for a little bit of time after they left that directory would appear but if nobody's used it on this machine for a few minutes uh, it will unmount itself so if we uh, now if we add ECE 363 spring 2024 and hit enter. Now it mounts. And if I do a present working directory, you can see in the path that that directory is now uh, mounted. So um, if I type ls, you can see the directories that are under the uh, project directory. And every user should have uh, their own individual project directory. I'm in with my test ID of ECE demo1 and uh, uh, you can see in that list that I have my own project directory. So I can do a change directory into ECE demo1. And I can say touch test. And if I list, you can see that test file in there. OK, I'll get rid of the test file. Um, If I try and go into uh, AWP224, it'll give me a permission denied because my ECE demo1 ID acts like a student ID. Um, and I can read what's in the class share directory. If I go into class share, uh, I can read it, what's in there. I could copy it out. Uh, this will most likely be used by Professor Winiscus to uh, put stuff in there that she wants you to be able to get and work on. And pretty sure, yeah, um, I can't create anything in here. All I can do is read from here. Okay. So uh, you'll be able to uh, actually let me let me go back in there. So you'll be able to go into your own directories and you'll have read-write permission. You'll be able to copy things out of the class share directory. And uh, you'll see more of that when you get to your labs. Okay? That's all I really wanted to show you on this is that they existed and about the auto mounting and, uh, and how you can get data. Okay, thanks a lot. Have a good evening. I hope this was helpful.